You should be able to recognize Orion the Hunter. And there we go. Very cool. So you can pan, you can zoom in, and zoom out. But up until now, I don't really understand what's, the, what's much better about this in terms of a paper star map. So what's special about the fact that it's well, on Android? That, that's, that's a fair point. I think it's a little bit prettier than a, a paper map. And of course, you can drag it around. But what's special about this is that, um, like most modern smartphones, uh, this uh, G1 has GPS, so it knows where on the planet you are. And this allows me to produce a map which is local to your particular place on Earth. So if I just move it around a little bit, you see this yellow line along here is, um, is the horizon line. So we can see that Orion has just uh, risen in the east there. And that horizon is correct for your position. Um, that's all very well, but uh, this is an Android phone, so it can do more. Not only does it know where on the planet it is, it also knows which direction you're holding the phone. So let me switch on the phone sensors and I'll show you what I mean. You see the map has changed. And as I move it, the map moves with the phone. That's fine. It gives you a window on the sky showing the stars that you would see if we weren't inside a room and it wasn't daylight if you looked in that direction. And this is all done with the accelerometer and the compass sensors in the phone. Can you do that with a piece of paper? <laughs> so that is great, but this is Google and this is Searchology. So can you search? Ah, I knew there was a reason why I'd been asked to speak here. Yes, indeed. One of the features that uh, um, we're most excited about is the ability to search for things. So you have to give me something to search for. Well, my birthday's coming up later this month, so let's go ahead and look for my sign, Gemini. Okay. Yeah, who'd have thought it? First one in the list. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I would open the phone and type this in, of course, but since uh, it's a mobile device, we have these, uh, this stored history to make it a little easier on your fingers. And there we are. The phone gives you a targeting circle. The circle will change color from blue through to red uh, as we get close to the target. And the, the arrow is going to show me which direction to move the phone and myself to find your star sign. Many happy returns, by the way, for <laughs> next month. Let's see that. Getting warmer. Getting warmer. Getting warmer. Almost boiling. There we go. So Gemini is currently over there. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it, of course. So that's great. And I think one of the things that's really exciting about this demo is it brings together a lot of different pieces of Google technology. It brings together Android and Search and Maps, and it's a 20% project. It's really quintessentially Google. That's right. It's been a lot of fun to work on it. Um, it's involved engineers in the Pittsburgh office and also a designer in New York, and we've, uh, we've had a lot of fun with the Android platform. It's very easy to get up and running quickly. Certainly, I recommend anyone that's got an interest in programming mobile devices to give it a try, because really you can get a, a, a quite impressive program up and running in, in just a few minutes, really. Um, so this, this application, as I say, it's called SkyMap. It's launching today on the uh, Android market. So if you have uh, a G1 or another Android phone, please download it and uh, tell us what you think. Thank you very much, John.